What is up everybody? It is your boy BDB Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. Today we're going to work up some stuff to put in the Peddler's Mall today. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it from labeling everything to making sure I got a good label on everything and making sure everything's nice and clean and presentable. You want to present your item so it sells quicker. And I got some tips and tricks if you're setting up a Peddler's Mall booth that'll help you sell more in your booth. Follow me on my journey and like and subscribe to my channel. And here we go, B2B, let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna work up, you've probably seen these in my last video, these little pet shops. I'm gonna set them up in my booth and see how they do. This is a run test. I like little items like that, you can put a lot of them in your booth because they don't take up much room and just like video games they stack real well and they don't take up much room that's why i'm wanting to do these right here uh i could probably i'm gonna look them up but i can probably get about five dollars a piece for them i'm gonna see what the true value of them is and the ones i don't know uh if you ain't checked out my other video go check out my other video um it's talking about using Google Lens to look stuff up. It's talking about using price charting for video games. And it's talking about using eBay to look things up. So go, uh, if you ain't seen that video yet, go check that out, okay? So the first thing I looked up, I was using Google Lens, of course. And then I got the detail of what this was. So I looked it up on uh, eBay and seen the sew comps. One's complete with the toys and everything, the little figures, like the little bottle and the sunglasses and stuff go for $10.99. Uh, I'm probably going to ask five for this. This is a LOL Surprise Doll Pet Sleepy Buns Bunny Nap Club I Spy. It looked like a little pet to me, but it's an LOL. And LOL does really good too, so I'm probably going to throw this in my booth for five bucks. Uh, I'm going to tag it up. I'm going to show you how I tag it up and stuff. So now that I looked it up and everything, this LOL bunny figure, I'm going to make sure it's nice and clean. And it is. So what I'm going to do, these come from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you get 45 of them for $1.25 now, but it was a dollar. But, you know, things go up. Um... These are perfect. They're snack bags. So what you can do, it looks real presentable. And the buyer feels like, you know, hey, it's in a little bag. It's nice and secure. So you're just going to do this. And I got a lock box. So my booth, what that means is locked up. It's a glass case. It's locked up. If you were going to put this on the floor in an open booth, I suggest to tape this side up because that be less people stealing it. There is thieves and people just ain't no count. But I would, you know, for I would put a piece of tape on this uh, and tape it up. I mean, security is everything, especially when you got a floor uh, booth. But where I got a lock box, which I call a lock box is a booth that is all behind glass i won't have to worry about that so what okay so in your description when you're writing one of these up so you got your item bagged up and ready to go it's very presentable so what you want to do now is get on microsoft word or notepad or something you could write these out but i like having the writing on there because it looks more official and people can read it it's going to make the person running the Peddler's Mall read it better and everything. So it's going to make the flow of transaction a lot better and easier. So always think about that. So uh, I got my booth number printed in, a description of what it is. And what I'm going to do now is put the price in there. I'm going to put five bucks. I got a nice little presentable. I'll show you it as soon as I get it printed out show you what's happening here you'll need scissors and tape Ooh, it almost tried to get away so as you can see right here it's got the booth number 
It's got a description of the item and it's got the price. That's the most important thing you're doing when you're in a booth. So what you want to do is take this and cut it out. You can reuse this paper. I just wanted to do this one real quick to show you what I do for my booth. Okay. So I got my label cut out. My item's bagged up. A little LOL bunny. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and my label and tape it on there. It don't take much tape for this either, folks. So this should do it right here. Just get it presentable. Tape it on. Tape it on the bag. And that is done. So we're going to do it with this whole bag of Little's Pet Shops. And the thing about it is, if you really wanted to save space, you could go like this. Tape it in half. It still looks very, very presentable, which we'll probably do. Because if you do this right here, it's going to take up more room. So you want to squeeze as many items in that booth to make as many sales as you can. Just a nice little tip as well. For another instant, I just bought this uh, not that long ago at a yard sale. It is a Harley Davidson Special Edition uh, Zippo lighter from 2000. Made in USA. Brass. I'm going to put this in my booth. This goes for about 100 bucks on on eBay. But I'm going to probably put it in there for a quick sale of maybe 50 Or try to. And if it don't move there, I'll take it to the actual flea market and sell it. And when it gets a little bit warmer. So I got a backup plan just in case it don't sell. So that's a little, little tip. So I'm going to do the same bag. These little bags come in handy. So I can put it in here. The item's nice and clean. Put it in here. Presenting your item is everything when you're reselling. So, if you don't present it right, it ain't gonna do right, you know? Presentation over everything. That goes with anything you do. So it's bagged up, ready to row. So you tape it like that and then you put the little tag on it and it'll be ready to row. So now that I got everything bagged up with these littlest pet shop and LOL and that lighter, I printed out a sheet that I'm gonna cut out and tape onto these little baggies. And everything is in here. You see, I got my booth number, the price and a little detail of what it is. This will help you uh, make better sales and it'll have a nice little description instead of hand handwritten so folks i got these pokemon cards uh bagged up i'm also gonna put these in my booth i got 10 of them for three dollars i think that's a pretty good deal there's all kinds of stuff in them trainer cards uh energies some actual cards in here I'm hoping they do good. There's a Pokemon World Championship 2004 with some trainers and stuff. So I'm gonna put these in my booth, label them up. They're gonna go in there along with these little pet shops. It's all about experimentation. These don't take up much room and if I can get three bucks a pack on these, that's pretty good. So I worked up some Pokemon cards. I got a 10 pack of cards I'm putting in my booth as well. They're random stuff from trainers to energy cards and a few regular cards. Uh, they'll be in my booth as well as this other stuff. I'm going to work up some more stuff. Uh, I'm going to put these magic cards in there too as well. Alright folks, we're about to head out the door. I've done worked up a little bit today. I got these Pokemon cards ready to go. 10 packs. I got these LOL dolls. I got action figures. I sold a Hulk, so I'm going to put another Hulk in there. And I got Littlest Pet Shops in there. And a Harley Davidson uh, cigarette Zippo lighter. 
I ran out of baggies, but I came up with a solution of uh, the cling wrap stuff that you can wrap your stuff in. Works really good. And the tag looks good, so that'll work right there. Uh, we're about to head to the Martin's Flea Market, uh, the Peddler's Mall booth. So um, follow me and let's go. All right, folks, we just pulled into the flea market where I got my booth set up. This is Martin's Flea Market. It's an Expo 4. It is in Lawrenceburg, Anderson County, Kentucky. Uh, about to put this good bag of stuff in there and let's see if anything's sold lately. Follow me. in my booth added some more figures some of them sold so i put more of them in here added the hulk and the hammerhead got thanos and i got uh, spider-man and i got stormtrooper and a bunch of marvel and dc got some bunko pops i also got a coffee percolator in there got a zelda wallet and a harley davidson got some pokemon in here now we got an NES clone in here now. Uh, video games, of course. We got a bunch of Xbox 360, PS2, some Nintendo DS, Xbox One, a few PlayStation 4. We got a Nintendo Wii bundle in here. We got a lot of Wii games as well. And we got PS3. So we just stocked up the flea market peddler's mall booth uh here at flea market it's martin's flea market i'm gonna drop the link in here so if you see something you're interested in your local uh run in there and get it uh got some good deals in there i got pokemon now i got lol dolls i got uh a bunch of uh littlest pet shops i know they do really good video games got some glassware some action figures so stop by if you're local and and if you're not local and you just like thinking about setting up a peddler's mall booth, it is very fun and very exciting. Uh, easy way to put stuff and sell it. I really enjoy doing it. Uh, I'm in my third or fourth month on it. I'm going to produce more videos coming soon. Um, but I'm also uh, going to do maybe a flea market set up down in somerset kentucky real soon so i'm gonna film that what a live flea market setup and sale looks like uh it should be really 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 fun i get an outdoor booth and i set up out there i think it's like 20 bucks for two tables and they're pretty big tables so stay tuned to that until next time folks bdb out